Hi there again, I'm Mimi Chan, registered dietitian, certified diabetes educator, and we are moving on from yesterday. Today is day two, second day, and the energy is still high. Yesterday was probably a very different experience than times before, and I'm sure it wasn't 100% smooth. But I don't believe you have to be better than anybody else. I believe you have to be better than you ever thought you could be. And you can be, because today is a good day to have a good day. You started your journey, and here's the next step. You're better today than you were yesterday, and you want to be even better yet. So let's start with that same mindset that we had yesterday to continue for today. Clear your mind. New foundation, new journey, new slate. Avoid bargaining with yourself, because if you didn't need it yesterday, you don't need it today. Take a deep breath and we're off. First, we're going to start off with refreshing yourself with the LOLS system because as with anything, practice makes perfect. Layer one, the no daily limit. I love this layer. They usually have so much flavor, so many things you can explore. Best part is that you can eat as much of these foods as you want. There's something for everyone. If you haven't had a chance to explore the herbs and sauce section, explore today. If you hadn't had a chance to try organic, give it a try today. Today is a day of new experiences. Give everything that you see a shot. Layer two, preferred proteins. These are the types of proteins that your body needs to maximize its potential. They're great at curbing your hunger, they're filling, they're tasty. And the thing is that you want to approach this as to steam them, broil, bake, or even grill. And the thing is that if you think that today is going to be a busy day, take out the slow cooker, throw everything in and you'll have dinner by the time you come home. If you haven't had a chance to try organic, give it a try. If not, you want to try cage free, give that a shot. Layer three is the favorite fats. Fats that our body needs to maintain daily protection. Great for the eyes, the brain, helps you make your hormones and makes you support many different things that you need to function in a healthy lifestyle. Pick a, a oil that you want to cook with today. Pick some nuts that you want to try and snack on. Or even mix it into a dish to add a little bit more texture. Layer four is the low glycemic index foods. These are the foods that are going to help you with your success in your diabetes control and also your blood sugar control. They are carbs that have a um, general lower risk of spiking sugar than the other types of carbohydrates. And you just want to focus on the variety that you can have during these meals. Now that we've refreshed ourselves with the layers, how do we use it in the meals? Always start with a nine inch plate. This is the only measurement that you'll ever need to take. And this is going to set you up in giving you a better idea on how to put your meals together. Look at your hand, not at anyone else's. Repeat this mantra of fist, palm, thumb. This is going to help you in your measurements of the layers. Look at your own hand, not at anyone else's. And let's do this exercise again. Look at your own hand and make a fist. Then look at your palm and look at your thumb. Remember the mantra again, fist, palm, thumb. Using this principle, at every meal, you don't want to be overly restricting yourself. You don't want to starve yourself. So these are just a few things to keep in mind of at least a layer one of one fist size, at least one palm size of layer two, at least one thumb size of layer three, and maximum a half a fist size of layer four. Your meals should make sense to you. It should be something that feels that it's tasty to you, that you would want to eat. It shouldn't look as if you are on a diet or restricting yourself. If you have these ideas in mind, it's going to make your meals so much easier to do and so much more enjoyable. Last but not least, unsweetened beverages at every meal. You want to keep hydrated during this week because you are going through a change in your lifestyle. And so the hydration part is going to help your body cope with the changes that you're doing with your meals. Unsweetened beverages, again, can be any sort of water, 
uh, infused water, um, tea, herbal teas, and as well as um, unsweetened coffee like espressos or even black coffee. Your choice, plenty out there. Here's a refresher of what the plate should look like. And based on your blood sugars, this is going to give you an idea about how to portion out your meals. Here's some additional tips for planning. You want to pick your layer two and your layer three first. At that point, you have an idea about what you want to have as your main entree. Usually by the time that I have an idea of my main entree, the rest of the pairing is a lot easier. Seasoning is very individualized. Some like it spicy, some like it a little bit more peppery, some like it a little bit more herby. So seasoning is very, very dependent on each person. I leave that up to you during this time. Also, take a look at the foods and making sure that you're picking out dark greens for at least two meals. The reason why is because during this time, you might be experiencing some of those, what I like to call carb withdrawal. And, and so when your body is switching to optimizing itself and trying to change gears, it's going to need a little bit of help. These dark greens will help you manage a little bit better and kind of keep those symptoms at bay. Layer four will be the last piece of your meal. And so try to pick something that either is going to appease a little bit of your sweetness or if it's going to complement the savory part. Drink plenty of unsweetened beverages at this time because during this week, you want to make sure that you're hydrated enough. If you're not hydrated enough, it's gonna cause you uncomfortable feelings. You might feel weak. So hydration is very important. Last part is Share your experience, set up your support system. This is a journey that you're taking, but it's not a journey that you're taking alone. You're more successful when you can share your success, or even if you wanna share about what you're going through with someone else. Using the principles of fist palm thumb, and let's see what your menu can look like for day two. For breakfast, you can look forward to a frittata, which is basically a baked egg omelet. And in that omelet, you can have roasted red peppers, zucchini, asparagus, chervil, a little bit of savory with a little bit of sweetness from the red peppers, a little crunch from pecans, cherry tomatoes, and a nectarine to finish it off, as well as maybe a coffee, or if you're not feeling that caffeine jolt, a tall glass of refreshing water. After that, lunch can be a roast chicken with a little bit of freshness from a salad made of arugula, roasted peppers, carrots, chickpeas, sliced almonds, cucumbers, quinoa, and a little bit of vinegar to cut a little bit of that richness. Also, unsweetened herbal tea is going to bring a little bit more depth to your lunch. For dinner, you can look forward to a little bit more of these uh, healthy fats with, his, uh, with the walnut crusted salmon and uh, paired with a side of chimichurri sauce. Everything can be done in the same oven on this meal. So it's called the bake night for a sense of easy cleanup. Roasted Brussels sprouts, corn on the cob, and have a refreshing seltzer to cut through a little bit of that richness. Some of these foods, like the frittata and roast chicken, can be prepared in advance. And you can even heat this up later in the day or even the next day. Preparation is key. Your key to success is when you have an eating area free of temptation and full of choices you want to make. So in order to help you continue with that success, here are some of the tips that you can do for even the busiest of all of us. Make sure you're checking your blood sugar and review yesterday's advice for how you manage your low blood sugars if the case comes to point. Until tomorrow, happy eating.